affair to charge the environment with fire until some demons cannot waseme huko usitutume hatuwezi enda the place is on fire na hivyo hata katika maisha yako if your temperatures are not high you will coexist with them they will be very comfortable wherever you are praise the name of the lord may you receive the fire of god hallelujah so hiyo maongeo inaongewa na nataka nikwambie kuna maongeo huwa yanaongewa kuhusu wewe na ibilisi and especially about your destiny sio mahali umetoka sio maisha ambayo umeishi hiyo haishii shetani lakini kile utaweza fanyika ndani ya Bwana it troubles the enemy na hayo hayo maongezi ndio Yesu alisikia na akaambia pita nimesikia na nimeona kile kuzimu kimekupangia ati shetani amepanga kukupepeta kama ngano na Yesu akasema nini na mimi Petro I mean, na mimi Yesu nimekuombea when you shall be restored strengthen your brothers sasa wewe niambie ikiwa Yesu anaombea pita na haombi uko kutikiswe kuondoke na kulitikisa pita mpaka akakana Yesu na alikuwa ameombewa sasa imagine kama pita hakuwa ameombewa what would have happened to his destiny he would never have become the first leader of the early church he would never have healed people with his shadow we would not be having the scriptures he has written in first and second peter na ile miracles yote alifanya kama hakuombewa haingefanyika that tells you my friend if you don't pull up your socks in prayer there is a level there are hates there are victories you will never realize in your life that's how serious it is kuna victory ya jamii yako victory ya watoto wako kuna mambo hautawaiona ikiwa maombi ya Yesu bado pita anatikiso and i'm not glorifying the devil by the way but neither am i ignorant of his devices because hiyo kutingizwa ilifanya pita akane Yesu but there was restoration even ni kusema prayer diminishes what devil wanted to accomplish praise the name of the lord wakati tunaomba ule uzito adui alikuwa tugonge nao unapunguzwa katika maombi maybe mfano kwa sentence ndio usikie amen ushasikia mtu akisema alikuwa kwa ajali ya barabara na gari ikaisha ikakuwa karatasi na yeye alipotoka hakuwa ameguzwa that can be nothing apart from god hivyo ni kusema kile adui alikuwa anataka kufanya mungu akaruhusu gari iishe na maisha yahifadhiwe kwa sababu gani kuna mtu aliomba amen generational battles are fought in prayer Exodus chapter 17 inatufungua macho kutuonyesha spiritual activity Musa ako juu ya mlima Aaron ako na yeye Hur ako na ye. na wanapigana na awamaleki na Biblia inasema nini Joshua akipigana huko chini ya mlima mpaka anaambia Mungu anaongelesha jua anasema sun stand still na hachoki the army is not fainting it is fighting lakini Musa na hana mkuki ni kuinua mikono tu anachoka kiasi ya kwamba anahitaji support ya Aaron na Musa i mean na na, na hur lakini Joshua haitishi that tells you Prayer is a spiritual activity and a powerful one. If only God would open our eyes. Ule ushindi ulikuwa na Joshua chini ya mlima sio kwa sababu ya ujuzi wa kurusha mkuki sio kwa sababu he was young 
It is because of the impact in the spiritual realm. And that is why we are defeated every day of our lives. Because we have not won in the spiritual realm. It was a spiritual activity. Na hivyo ni kusema, Musa alipigana, because baada ya hivyo, ndiyo alisema, na hebu Joshua ambiwe, ya kwamba bwana ametangaza vita na our meleki in every generation. So, generational battles are fought in prayer. I pray that it will sink in your spirit. And thank God I'm talking to young people here. Na hivyo ni kusema, prayer can never be old fashioned. So young people, don't think that prayer is for the old. In fact, if there are people who should pray, it is you. Because you are in the morning of your life. Genesis 49 verses 27. Benjamin aliambiwa na babayake. Akatia na barikiwa. Benjamin, you are a ravenous wolf. You shall devour in the morning. And in the evening, you shall divide the spoil. What does that mean? You cannot sleep in the morning of your life. And expect a better life tomorrow. I believe what I am today is the investment of youthfulness. Na kwa hivyo vijana, hamuwezi lala asubu yenyu. Hamuwezi. Reverend Hosea, hapaswi kuja church mbele yenyu. He has handled a good part of his money. And what we are seeing today is what he did in the morning of his life. You can't sleep in the morning and believe that you will be anything in the evening. You will have nothing to divide. So prayer is not for the old. Because that is the mentality. You ni semina ya maombi ni ya washosho ni ya waze. Sisi tunafanya serious things. Ni mesema katika maombi. We fight generational battles. Ndiyo Musa anasema, Ebu ya ndikwe na Joshua. Because Joshua was the next generation. Ya kwamba kuna kazi ya kufanya kwa wa ameleki. Let me break it further. Daudi aliangalia maisha yake. Na kajua vizuri. I don't have any point of reference. Nobody in my family has ever become a king. Yeah? Wakati Sauli anachapa Goliath wa pale, eh, Daudi, anauliza huyu ni mwana wa nani? Anaindua ni mwana wa Yesi, the Bethlehemite. Na kwa hivyo, uh, kazi yao ilikuwa kuchunga, kukaa mustuni. Kwa hivyo, ili Daudi a penetrate. Aweze sasa kwenda katika ufalme. Alikuwa pigane na vita nani? Alikuwa chapane na vita. Na vita ya kwanza alishinda ni ile vita ya kujiweka msafi. Na kudevelop kile yako nacho. Because wakati Sauli anasema, bring me a man now. Mwenye atanisaidia kutoa hii pepo. Watu walikuwa wame observe maisha ya Daudi wakasema, we have seen the son of Jesse. Who is seeing you? Are you developing your character? Are you dependable? Are you distinct? Can you be picked from the crowd? Na wakati alienda kutengeneza kucheza hiyo kinanda, alicheza with his skill. Na hiyo skill, it was not only a skill. Sikia wanasema nini? And because God is, was, was with him, the presence of God is drawn by men who pray. So Daudi alijua kuna vita ni pigane. Sikia wakati Saulu anasema, yule atachapa goliado, nitampea binti yangu. 
So lazima Sauli ange develop imani ya kuchapana na Goliath. I'm trying to tell somebody here you need to wake up and pray. Kwa sababu saa zingine yale mambo yamekuzingira ni makubwa sana. But you are so casual about prayer. You are so eh, so casual una ukawaida mwingi sana katika kuomba. Angalia Daudi Saul uh, akachenge tena akasema ikiwa unataka binti yangu ninataka uende unilete skin 200 za wafilisti. That man had to go and fight again and bring this skin. Let me tell you friends, promotion from God does not come from a silver plate. There is nothing that is called a loyal road to greatness. No. Wakati Daudi amekuja katika ufalme, anauliza, who will be the first one to defeat the Jebusite? Job anatoka anasema, I'll be the first one to attack. Na wakati aliwa attack na akashinda, he was made the commander of the army. Kwa nini kwa mungu ndiyo watu wanaka? He, wanasema sasa niguza leo, niguza mugongo, niguza tumbo, niguza migu, and you are doing nothing. It is not possible. Daudi aliamua alijua zile vita zimemzingira. Na kwa hivyo alipopigana generational battles. Sulaimani alienjoy rest. Sasa wewe unakataa unataka kukaa kama Sulaiman. Ya? Kwenye hakuna mtu ashanunua bike. And you want to rest. Kwenye hakuna mtu ashaenda beyond class 4, ni wewe miramin form 4, ni wewe mirako ya kwanza. Then you rest. Hakuna mtu ashafanya ndoa takatifu. And then upumuzike. Unajua kwenyu backgrounds ya kwenyu vile iko. Zile ndoa zote unajua zimevunjika. And then you pause and you say, Bwana atashughulikia. Wewe you must rise up. Praise the name of the Lord. Prayer transcends generation. Na ndio unaona Maombi yaliyoombwa Mungu anakuja anaambia Isaac because of the obedience of your father I will bless you Mungu anakuja kwa Suleiman anamwambia kwa sababu ya urafiki yangu na baba yako sita sita sitakubali hii nchi igawanywe in your day I pray that God will raise up a people to pray that prayer will outlive their generation Ibrahim Genesis 18 anasimama akiintasidia Mungu mpaka Lutu anaokolewa Lot na watoto wake na hapo ndiyo eh huyu msichana anaitwa Ruth alitoka 400 years after the prayers of Abraham akisimama Sodom Mungu anakumbuka hayo maombi na anaenda kuchukua Ruth kutoka Moab ampeleke kwa ahadi That is how prayerful how powerful prayer is no wonder the devil doesn't want us to pray hapendi tukiomba because anajua even when you are long dead should jesus tarry your prayers will still speak we are told of a missionary alikuwa anaitwa david rain brain brain heart alikuwa anaomba ana kwa red indians na because they were so hostile kuna river ambayo alikuwa anaenda kuombea hapo akimach akiomba kwa hiyo river and 50 years later people were coming to that river and getting born again si Mungu atumiminie nguvu za maombi haleluya praise the name of the lord so today i want to share about how do you conceive the burden of prayer unawezaje kutunga mzigo wa maombi kwa sababu lazima tuombe tunatungaje mzigo wa maombi the natural helps us to understand the supernatural in the natural nobody conceives when you are in the street hakuna mtu atawaza tunga mimba kama unatembea 
uko kwa soko unatembea unajiangalia mambo uko kwa facebook no conception and the right conception will always happen in the sacred place mahali pasiri ndio mimba kutungiwa na kama mtu hajatunga mimba hata avae night dress hana i mean free dress hata avae mother's dress hana na mwanamke now i'm talking from a woman's perspective and i've been a woman all my life and i'm not intending to change because i'm happy that in the wisdom of god he decided i will operate best and i'm not threatened by any man amen and i respect the position that god has given them and i can never take placards to say at haki yetu at we are equal let me not go to that praise the name of the lord let me stick to prayer and i tell you the day i conceived is the day i said bye bye to some foods kitungu nasema mm. kuna mafuta nilikuwa narushia kwa dirisha kutupa kwa sababu in nilikuwa nasikia inanuka vibaya that hata wakati hakuna mtu alikuwa amejua but something was happening it was shaping my character it was shaping what i'm eating it was shaping how i was sitting because conception had taken place and as days progressed by ikiunga niambia turuke hapa ningekwambia wewe ruka kwa sababu hauna kitu lakini mimi siwezi ruka as days progressed by my friends changed especially when the eed was near expected day of delivery aunga niona na tustana tudogo nilikuwa natembea na nani na wamama kwa sababu chochote chaweza kutokea amen when you conceive the burden of prayer from god kuna marafiki mnapoteanwa nao forever kuna tabia unaachana nazo kuna diet hauwezi enjoy you know diet i'm talking about spiritual diet hauwezi enda mahali ati ati maombi si kitu maombi tunaishi kwa neema hiyo diet Haiwezi agree na kile umebeba. Kuna vitu watu watataka ufanye hautafanya. Na moja yazo ni vile watu wanangojea naga. Kuja tupitie hapa. Muna munapitia, munapitia by the time unakuja prayer mumebakisha 15 minutes. By the time mu, mu, museme prayer request ten zimeisha. So mnasema Masai imeenda sana tushikane mikono. At the end of the day prayer haitafanyika Do you know why people are, are full of gym, gymnastics in the church? Eh? Yeah? Ni kuonyesha hakuna kitu wamebeba. Do you know why people are idolaters in church? It is because they are carrying nothing. There is no burden of God. In fact when you conceive the burden of God, unashindwa masai itaenda wapi? Masaya maombi inamalizika na unasikia I've not even begun prayer because if I have to pray for my family if I have to pray for where I am because Mungu ameniweka hapo kama watchman if I have to pray for my working place if I have to pray for my ile estate ninaishi if I have to pray for the nation if I have to pray for the nations of the earth where is the time to waste So ile maisha tunaishi inadhihirisha wazi huku hakuna kitu we conceived wind because at the fullness ya pregnancy ikifika ndio unaenda labor na hauwezi enda labor 
wale ambao ni wanawake before the water breaks hakuna midwife atakupeleka leba na hivyo ni kusema maji yanapo break ni dhihirisho something is coming na wakati ma, machozi ni dhihirisho ya hiyo maji katika roho so wakati unaona machozi yamekauka church hakuna matarajio when women can no longer weep when men can no longer cry hakuna matarajio na tunakosa kitu ambacho tumetunga niombi rangu ya kwamba asubuhi adhuhuri hii ya leo in your spirit there will be conception kama yesu hata angechukua nyahunyo achape wanafunzi hawangeomba kwa sababu gani they had not received the burden of prayer kwa bible kuna wanyama wawili ambao wanaitwa beasts of burden moja ni punda na pili ni ngamia genesis 49 and verses 14 genesis 49 Biblia inasema Isaka is a strong ass coaching down between two burdens and he saw that rest was good and that the land it was pleasant and bowed his shoulder to bear and became a servant and to tribute Yakobo anaenda kukufa Anaangalia is I mean Isaac anamwambia you are a strong donkey wewe ni punda mwenye nguvu utabeba mizigo na katika kubeba mizigo utapata pumziko na ndio Leviticus 21 Bwana alikuwa amesema kuhani yeyote aliye na nundu asikuje mbele yangu kwa sababu watu walio na nundu hawawezi beba mizigo ya Bwana Which burden are you carrying Is it the burden of your family Is it the burden of the nation Is it the burden of the lost Is it the burden of those who are afflicted Why are you asking God for strength to do what with that strength can god look at you and depend on you lakini yakobo hapa alitabiria isaka akamwambia you are a strong donkey na bible inasema nini first chronicles chapter 12 and to the sons of isaka they have been given understanding of times so it helped them know which burden to carry when Hawezi ishi kwa burden yako wewe mwenyewe. Baba nipe suti ya yellow. Ukimaliza sasa nipe ya green. Sasa nipe viatu za ku mix and match. Sasa baba nimekaa kwa hii synthetic for so long. Sasa nipe human hair. A whole you. Is that the only burden you can carry? You are a daughter of Zion. Full of strength full of the holy spirit will your prayer ever be jehovah nipe muse nipe muse angalia miaka angalia calendar is that the only burden you can carry the second animal is a camel first chronicles chapter 27 verses 30 a camel biblia inasema this is the kingdom of david and the way it was divided na ufalme wa daudi vile ulikaa ilikuwa mfano wa ufalme wa kristo so anasema 
Over the camels also was Obil, the Ishmaelite, and over the asses was Jehideya, the Meronathite. Karika ufano wa Daudi kulikuwa na camels, is also a burden bear. Nangamia mizigo yake huwa mizito. Nangamia itaweza tembea muda murefu sana bila hata kunywa maji. Nangamia it is exposed to very adverse conditions in the in the desert mahali hakuna maji and i believe in luke chapter 2 anna the daughter of anuel was a camel of god alibeba muzigo wa intercession ya kuombea yesu more than 60 years wakiwa na simio na wakati yesu alifika hivi walimjua na ndio simio alisema i can go in peace sasa leo Ngamia za mungu wako hapi. That can carry a generational burden. Ya kwamba sipu mziki, mbaka nione kizazi kimeja roho. Sipu mziki, mbaka nione utukufu wa mungu kwa nyumba yake. Sipu mziki, mbaka nione jamii hazili. Sipu mziki, mbaka nione vijana wanao tembea na nguvu za roho na utakatifu wa bwana where are they ngamia their affliction ni severe kama hana wafanuel amekaa na mume wake miaka saba na mungu ameondoa mume wake na hata hakumpea mtoto but the bible says she still ministered to the lord in prayer and fasting until she saw the burden. Wewe ni nini hukutoa kwa maombi? Unaacha mzigo wa bwana. Nowadays we cannot bear the burden until fruits are realized. Unaombea mtoto unaachana naye. Unaombea jamii unaachana nayo. Who will bear the burden of God? So kuna punda, kuna ngamia. Ebu liza jirani, wewe unaona wewe ni punda ama ngamia. Vile unaombaga, hata wewe ni punda in the first place. Because there is no even sustaining prayer, even for one hour. One hour hivi, inashindikana. Inashindikana kabisa. Amen. Today I pray that the Holy Spirit will change somebody. The Holy Spirit will transform somebody. The Holy Spirit will make your shoulders strong. For the burden of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So how do we conceive the burden of God? Number one, through seeing. And that is why in Isaiah chapter 56, Buana Nasema, the defects of an intercessor. The defects. Let's first of all go there. The defects. 56 verses 10. 56 and verses 10. An intercessor is also a watchman because he's supposed to see. So, Biblia inasema here, his watchmen are blind. They are ignorant. So, defect number one is blindness. Defect number two is ignorant. Defect number three is damp dog. You can't talk. You can't blow the trumpet. They cannot back. Defect number four is love of sleep. I tell you the truth. When Guinea Hapa, if only you reduce your sleeping hours, you can be someplace with God. Ata usikeme pepo, useme tu, na punguza ile masa huwa ninalala by two hours. Na hizi two hours, I will read the word and labor in prayer. Ikifika December, I assure you, you shall be a totally different person. Amen. Iyo ingine inasema, lying to lava. Okay, we move on, verses 11. Yeah, they are greedy dogs. You cannot be an intercessor, a burden bearer, if you cannot control your appetites. It is not possible. Appetite for sleep, appetite for power. Ninani alikuwa na nguvu kama Musa. The most powerful man on the earth. The first demonstration of a true son of God. And yet so humble. 
Kisha inasema, which can never have enough. Let us look at blindness. Kwa nini mungu anasema, ukiwa wewe ni muombezi, vipofu hawawezi kutunga mzigo wabwana. Kwa sababu hakuna kitu naona, lazima uone kitu na macho ya mungu. Lazima upofu uondoke. Angalia Jokbed, amezaa Musa, na kumuangalia tu anasema, Huyu siyo mtoto wa kawaida. And from that day, akatangaza vita ya kupigania hatima ya Musa. Kwa sababu gani aliona? Wale mamama wengine walizaa. Na hakuna kitu waliona kwa watoto hao. Ndiyo walikuwa wanawasarenda kwa the God of the Nile. Wanatupwa, wanakufa. May God open the eye of every mother to see the destined destiny of your child and you declare war to fight. Sarah aliona Ishmael akimok Isaac. Na kasema apana, ee, isi moka reya kawaida. Nikiruhusu haya mambo ya endele. Ishmael atasukuma Isaac. Nandi walisema enough is enough. My son cannot inherit with the son of a bond woman. Let this woman leave this territory. May God raise women who can fight for territories. Wazema hii ni territory yangu. Nandi lazima uone. But without seeing what will you contend for. What will you fight for? Mahali unaishi hili uweze kuomba, you must see the burden of the Lord. You must conceive the burden of God for what you are seeing. Lakini ukiwa na upofu, hadithi na peano ya watu wa wili, wakapanda meli, wakaenda in a certain island, na wakakuta kwa hiyo island, Hakuna watu wanavaga viatu. Mwingine ya kasema, watu walikuwa wamebeba viatu. So mwingine ya kasema, what a waste. Hakuna mtu hapa ataweza nunua viatu. Mwingine ya kasema, what an opportunity. If only I convince all these people to wear shoes, then I can become a millionaire. It depends on what you are seeing. May the Lord open your eyes today. That you may conceive the burden of the Lord. Na tulisema an intercessor must have a prophetic eye. Jeremiah aliona kurudi kwa Israeli ata walipoenda utumwa. Ndiyo alinunua shamba na akasema ni majira munaenda captivity. But I know God is bringing you back. May you see beyond what is pushing you. May you see beyond what is frustrating you. May you see the destiny of your family and conceive the burden to wrestle and pray. May we see Kenya through the eyes of God. May we see Africa through the eyes of God so that we may be able to stand and contend. I love this woman in the Bible. She doesn't even have a name and your name doesn't need to be great for you to be effective in God. Anaitua Manoah's wife. I am convinced beyond any reasonable doubt. One of the reasons why Samson echo in the book of Hebrew, it is because the mother never gave up. Ata alipotolewa macho. Ata aliposikia anasiaga, anasiaga katika kampi ya wafilisti. She never gave up. Don't give up on your children. Keep fighting. Keep declaring. Keep wrestling in prayer. I pray for you today. Whosoever is your object of intercession, receive strength. Alisema haijalishi hako api, lakini hata kufa kwa hiyo kampi. Na gafla, nyuele ya Samson ikaanza kumea. Strength ikaanza kurudi. Na Biblia inasema, 
wa filisti hawakugutuka amen bwana anauliza jeremiah chapter 1 verses 11 what are you seeing whatever you see causes you to develop the burden of god na mungu anasema wale ambao ni vipofu hawawezi ona revelation bwana anasema nini Munasema nyinyi munaona lakini nyinyi ni vipofu because you cannot see. Na anasema kujeni kwangu I wash you with salt. Oh that today the Lord may wash our eyes that we may see what he is seeing. Praise the name of the Lord. Number 2. How do we develop conceive the burden? We conceive the burden by what we hear. Kile tunasikia. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verses 4. Nehemiah, sorry, not Jeremiah. Nehemiah chapter 1 and verses 4. Bibile inasema. Nehemiah. And it came to pass when I did what? When I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. Sasa niambie, Nehemiah ni comfortable. Anafanya kazi kwa mfalme. Yeye ni kapbera. Maneno ya Jerusalem ilikuwa inamsumbulia nini? What was bothering him? Yeah? You know when we are talking about the nation, wewe ni nini nakusumbua? Uko Nairobi, uko safe. Tuulize sisi tulikuwa moro na kwetu ni moro. We can pray for the nation with zeal because of the stuff we've gone through. Praise the name of the Lord. So Biblia inasema, look at this. The art of intercession ambayo iko hapa. Biblia inasema, and when I had, aliposikia atikuta zime bomoka. Watu wako na shida. Ile haibu iko Yerusalemu. Haisemeki, haiambiliki. Aliposikia. Akatunga mzigo wabwana. He conceived the burden and immediately it affected his character. Kulikuwa na masausage kwa mfalme. Kulikuwa na wine kwa mfalme. Kulikuwa na apples kwa mfalme. Kulikuwa na vitu vyote vitamu. There are things you hear. And after conceiving the burden of God, it affects your appetite. Look at this. Biblia inasema nini? That I sat down. Aliketi. Na tunaona Bible inasema nini? Mutu kama Daudi anasema. And I sat the whole night. As I am weeping and praying. So hivi yoni kusema. Ata wakati umekaa kwa kazi yako hivi. Ukingojea the next customers. It can be intercession time. Unapokaria gari hivi unaenda your working place. Sio lazima uwe kwa simu, you can turn it into prayer time. Ni mambo ya kusema sina time. Si unaenda ku job 1 hour. Si unarudi 1 hour. Can you convert it into your praying time? Can you convert it into a time that you commune with God? Anasema nilikaa chini na Biblia inasema nini? Nikalia. Sema ukweli na hii weeping Weeping, God read in your dictionary. Si hile kulipa ati, ati ni kama chozi kame katalia hapa. Unajaribu kukatoa. The Bible does not lie. Weeping is weeping. Ni kusema Nehemiah na ni mwanaume wa heshima. Ako kwa security team ya raisi. Na analia, hee, hee, hee. Uliza jirani, nirini uliria hivyo. Noanda unakaa hivyo. No wonder kuna program. I mean the Bible does not lie. And the morning is also an art of intercession. 
where even words cannot come out. How many people have grown to this level of intercession that they can mourn? Daniel in the governor, Nana Semanini, I mourn for my people. There is the groaning of the Holy Spirit in you. There is the travail of the Holy Spirit. You groan for the destiny. You groan for the future of your children. How many have come to this level? You only come into this level of prayer after conceiving the burden. Because after the burden is fully grown, when the contractions begin, you can't stop. Friends, don't you think we need God's mercy? Don't you think the church is still in the shallow water in prayer? Nehemiah and Ahuzuni, it is also a knot of intercession, godly sorrow. How na huzuni ju ya rent? How na huzuni ju how janunu agai? How na huzuni ati ju niloni nakuja? But godly sorrow. How can this be? Jerusalem muji wa bana utakaje na ai? Bwana uwepo wako kwa nyumba yako uko wapi? And you are sorrowful. Kuna wimbo tuliimbaga zamani, do ile na kehani ndo wawera wako. Siku hiyo kehai ilienda wapi? Whether things are happening or not we don't care. We cannot move on. And it is shows burden. I read a story of two young men from Monrovia, they were known Monrovian intercessors. Two young men, 18 and 21. Nawakajua, there was an island that was under an atheist. Nambaye hange kubali mutu, na ilikuwa na slaves kama ya 1,000. And these two young men, wakatua maisha yao, nawakajua, the only way to reach the Monrovians, I mean those uh, slaves, Nisisi tuenda tujiuze kama slaves. Na walijua, wakati walikuwa wanakanyaga kuingia kwa hiyo meli, hawata rudi kwa wazazi wao, na hata walijua, hatuta wai yowa. Na wakingia kwa meli, waliokuwa wanawasindikiza walilia, na wakawambia, wacheni kutulilia sisi. Wacha utukufu wote urudie yule yeye who paid an ultimate price. They went to the ship knowing they will never marry, they will never return, but it was a worth sacrifice to go and identify with the slavery, slaves people that they may come to the Lord. Friends, utukufu wa mungu hukujagi hivyo, ukiona mungu mahali ya metafutua. Kuna mutu wa metunga mzigo wa bwana. I tell you the way we pray is a clear indication there is no burden. There is no burden. I can tell you for free. Ezra chapter 9 verses 3. Mbilei nasema. Ezra 9 and verses 3. And when I did what, I heard this thing. I rent my garment and my mantle and plucked off the hair of my head and of my beard and start down as toned. Uni Ezra, amesikia yeye ni kuhani. Amesikia vile makuhani wamejichanganya. Vile wameawa strangers wamewaleta kwa nyumba ya buwana. Atina wakati ya lisikia, alilaruwa mavazi. Sasa Biblia inatuambia leo Joel, uzilarue mavazi, larua moyo. Lakini aliomba mbaka anangoa nyuele. Anaomba mbaka ananyua ndevu. Friends, jaman, have you ever looked at the state of the church in Akusumbua? Yeah? How can people not just fear God? How can just people go to sin? Siku hizi sijui huku kwenyu, past reverend. Vijana wanaanguka katika dhambi. 
and there is no sorrow. Eh, mtu anakuja kuambia pastor pasi iko na ball. No conviction. No repentance. No feeling nothing. That is mtu ataweza enda fornicate na kuja ashike mic aongoze pambio. Yaani utaweza kuja hapa na neti m- 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 ya, ya, ya white na tukuunganishe na umeishi na huyo mwanaume and it doesn't bother you. Haikusumbui. Yeah? I bother conscience is dead. Ezra nasema niliposikia yani wa mama wa mama harusi ya vijana inapotangazwa kuna wamama watakaosimama na maombezi waseme bwana kama hana wafanoeli eh anaombea joseph mpaka joseph hawezi onyesha live alone sleeping with mary hawezi muonyesha madharau he's a godly man he's a righteous man anasema nacha huyu msichana na heshima by the way young people brothers these are king's daughters usiache mtu na sms ati tume tume tumemaliza and you don't care they are souls they belong to god jehovah is concerned about them don't joke around don't ask 10 10 sisters na useme hata solomon alikuwa na elfu moja wewe ni solomon choose one Are there women? Watasikia ndoa imetangazwa na waseme we are standing in the gap. We are shielding these people in prayer. Hii ndoa itakuwa takatifu. Who can conceive that burden? Abigail alisikia from the worker. Akaambiwa na mfanyikazi mmoja. Kile ambacho Nabal atafanywa na Daudi na Biblia inasema mara moja conceived the burden akachukua zawadi mikate nini nini akaweka kwa punda akaenda kula kidaudi kumuona tu anashuka chini na anaanguka na anasema upon me this sin upon me don't consider this fool have mercy upon this she had she conceived the burden I pray for somebody today that your ears will open that you may hear what you are supposed to hear that you may conceive the burden of God number 3 how do you conceive the burden of the Lord by perceiving a sensitive heart can perceive by perceiving Second Kings chapter 2 and verses 9. Second Kings chapter 2 and verses 9. Biblia inasema No sorry chapter 8. Chapter 8. Second Kings chapter 8 and verses 9. Is that second kings? Chapter 4 verses 9, sorry. Chapter 4 and verses 9. The Shunammite woman, Angalia, and she said unto her husband, Behold now, I perceive that this is a holy man of God which passes us con- by continually. Kisha nasema Let us make a little chamber I pray thee on the wall and let us set for him are there a bed and a table and a stool and candlesticks and it shall be when he cometh to us that he shall turn in thither Anasema moyo wangu umepambanua huyu ni mtu wa Mungu ndio alikuwa anaenda kumgonjea nje hana simu hakuna mobile lakini moyo wake unashawishika moyo wake unakorogeka kitu kinataka kufanyika anatoka kungojea Elisha my friend Mungu hakujagi mahali hatamaniwi 
Mungu hakuji mahali hatafutwi. The water is for those who are thirsty and the bread is for those who are hungry. Desire precedes prayer. Hana kwanza alitamani na kutamani kwake ndio kulifanya aende kwa maombi. Ukitamani uwepo wa Mungu kwa maisha yako utaomba. Ukitamani kuona jambo tofauti utaenda maombi. So akasema I perceive. Na wakati alipasiwa hakukuwa na shida za kutoa resources yake ajenge mtu wa Mungu nyumba na I furnish single handedly kwa sababu intercession is taking responsibility Bwana Yesu asifiwe Jonah chapter 3 and verse 6 Biblia inasema aje wakati mfalme alisikia ya kwamba hukumu inakuja alirarua mavazi akalala chini ni neve walisikia unabii wa jona wakaanza fasting they took responsibility of the burden of repentance when they heard may the lord cause you to hear what you are supposed to hear for your family today amen Number four, understanding, understanding, understanding the scriptures, Daniel 9.2, Daniel 9.2. In the first year of the reign I Daniel understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem verses 3 Bila inasema and I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplication with a fasting and sackcloth and ashes there are things you understand and you conceive the burden of the lord amen let me tell you daniel was not a pastor daniel was not an apostle he was a civil servant na kitu kimoja Bwana anataka kutumia ni marketplace. Waombezi watakaoweza inuliwa kwa hayo makampuni na mahali wanafanya kazi watumikie Bwana kama makuhani. Are you hearing? Daniel alipata access ya some information. Kwa sababu gani? Akiwa anafanya kazi serikalini alikuwa ana access some files na so katika kuperuzi hizo file kuperuzi hizo file akagundua our captivity is over akajipeana kwa maombi hiyo mahali Mungu amekuweka pa kazi sheria zinapitishwa vitu zinafanywa you are not supposed to be blind or deaf and you are not supposed to be ignorant You are supposed to take your position. Amen. Na alipoomba uhuru wao ulianza because he understood. So utana ndio Biblia inasema the dogs in Isaiah 58 they are ignorant. They are ignorant. They don't have understanding. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sitaki kuuliza ni watu wangapi walipata yeye hesabu. Because the hands would be lakini mwalimu alikuwa anakuja darasa alikuwa anakuja lakini mara nyingine unaona wakiwa watatu una, unaona nguo yake amevaa nini by the time u, u, u understand uh, square root inatafutako aje mwalimu ametoka lakini you are there in class you need understanding may the lord open your understanding 
There was once a, I was a teacher. I went to a certain school. And when I went in that school, it's like every time, either a staff or an unteaching staff or a child would die. And it's like we were in the cycles of ever muchango, muchango, muchango. And one time, as I gave myself to prayer and said, this is not normal. He is he kawaida. And one time in a dream, the Lord showed me the whole of that school imezingirwa na nyoka mkubwa. Na huyo nyoka sasa alikuwa na nilenga. And I engaged people in prayer. We would pray a walk. And I began a Christian union. And every time I would call children together and we would pray. And then I went to the head teacher of the school and I said, I perceive in my heart, we need to rededicate this school to God because there are some faulty foundation. And she listened. Why did she listen? Number one, I was not lazy. Number two, my subjects were doing well. Number three, my class was the best. You cannot represent God ikiwa wewe ni wewe wa mwisho. Wewe ni wewe unakuja job late. Wewe ni wewe kazi yako madhogodhani. Alafu uende kusema asema bwana, anasema nini? Si kwanza akushughulikie wewe. We must bring the standards of God and shine for God wherever we are. And especially sisi wa mama tutakutana afternoon. Ambia jirani usikose. There is your word. We are the majority in offices. But in your services is ile mbaya sana. Unakutana na mtu hataki kukusalimia ni kama hata akikusave hataki na ameajiriwa kufanya hivyo hata hauwezi smile. What is wrong with us? Why can't we shine? Why do we take our moods to our working place? Yeah? Unakutana na mtu ni kama ametoka vita vya Vietnam even kumsalimia ni kisirani How are we going to shine for God Praise the name of the Lord There must be a mark of difference to those who know God You must know you are there because you are representing a higher kingdom So I want to my boss na kamwambia I perceive we rededicate and he said go ahead do all that is within your power to do and I called several preachers. We fasted, even with the students and the parents. And we came this one afternoon, education people, parents, and we repented, brought repentance, broke the curse, dedicated school to God, and death stopped. Tosa wewe kwa hiyo kazi yanyu ni nini unafanya? Mungu wali kupereka uko tu kwa sababi ya mshahara. You are a teacher and you cannot influence life. You are in college, you cannot be an example. Uko kwa hiyo kampuni, ifungwe ukiwa hapo na wewe ni mtoto wa mungu. Kwani hapa tu ndiyo tunakuja kuimba yawe yawe? Why can't we function in heaven in our working place? Why can't we show the kingdom of our God? You are supposed to live a life, mbaka watu wanakuliza, unendaga wapi church? We have looked at your life. We have observed Mbaka boss. And I'm saying this and these people know it. There was a time my boss would come to church. Na siku moja kaniambia, sasa ni wewe pastor wangu. Ni wewe nita kuwa nikiretea tithe na ni my boss. Naomba mtu leo atoke kwa usingisi. Iu kawaita ukristo wa sande ishindwe kabisa. We are supposed to shine 24-7. Mahali mungu wamekueka is your responsibility. Ata kama wewe ni student, you can declare your kingdom of the kingdom of God in that campus you are in. Amen. So you conceive the burden by understanding. Nandiyo mbaka unaitua history ya mahali unaenda. Kama kuna hitu wa korogosho, jua hii jina korogosho ilitoka wapi. Nilikuwa mahali juzi pana hitu wa kanyoni. Nilikuwa na wauliza hii kanyoni ni nini. Ya? Enda huku kwetu moranga huku. Majina nzito zito, kendutu, keoho, keagorwe. 
All those words. You must be able to understand. One pastor was telling me in that place called Keho. Washirika wanakuja kanisa saa sita. Mchungaji. Mano wamefungwa. Don't just stay in an apartment and you don't understand. What is the origin? It will open you to some things you may never know. But we are too lazy even to make inquiry. So nikauliza, whenever I go to a city, I went to a certain place, Meru huko ndani, banaitu wa katheri. Nikauliza, hii katheri ni kusema ni, ati hakuna kitu. Nikawambia, we are changing the names. And we are calling it a place of abundance. Because when Jacob saw the invisible, he changed the name from Luz to Bethel. May you change the environment. May you change the name of your family. May you change the name of your clan. Mwali mumoja tulikuwa tunafundisha na ye. Nikamuliza, first born yako anaitua je ate doge. Can you imagine ukitu anjina wa doge? Kambi, how do you call your child like that? Ebu uliza jirani jina lako we unaitu wa zi. Yeah. Especially from where I come from, we love animals so much. Njogu, mbogo, gashao. Yani tukikutana mahali utoweza fikiria ni animals in the orphanage. <laughs> Wangombe, <laughs> wangodu. <laughs> may you receive deliverance from your name. <laughs> and may you call yourself what God calls you. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray that God will open your understanding. You are not just there for the sick. You are there for a reason and for a cause. Praise the name of the Lord. You, okay, number, that is number, I'm finishing. Number five. Number six. Eh? Five. By experiencing God. You conceive a burden by experiencing God. Divine encounters have changed the life of men. Amen. When Paul akienda kutesa kanisa, alikutana na Yesu na kamwambia ni mimi unatesa. Hatima yake ilibadilika milele. Niaya naongea kuhusu warfare than any other apostle. Na nina tatu angalia huyu mtu anaitua Daniel as I conclude. Not Daniel, Jonah. Biblia inasema Jonah chapter 1. And verses 5. Then the mariners were afraid. Tunajua hiyo story. Jonah ametumwa. Na Jonah, story yake sinimurefu. Anakata kwenda. Na hapa Biblia inasema, ame ingi andani ya meri. I want you to understand this. From the time Jonah, alianza kutorokea mapenzi ya mungu. Aliendelea kwenda chini, chini, chini. Biblia inasema alitoka kwa plain. Akaenda kwa haba. Sio ilikuwa kuteremka. Akatoka kwa haba, akaenda kwa meli. Silikuwa kuteremka. Akatoka kwa meli. Sasa kwa sababu hataki kuomba, akaenda chini ya meli huko. Every time you run away from the ordained path for God of your life, forget about rising. Amen. No hata ni hubiri hapa kidogo juna nataka ku demonstrate mambo ya Jonah. Jonah ameenda sasa huko chini. Na Bible inasema then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his God. Roiro musipomba kuna wale wanaitia miungu yao. Na wakiita inafanya kazi. Wakati unalala na kuongeza gear ya maombi. Kuna mtu 
mtu anatembea tembea hapo akitaka hiyo biashara yako anachinja kuku usiku akimwaga damu akiclaim territory na wewe uko wapi gia ya tisa na ya kumi. wakati unalala kuna mtu anaona msichana wako anasema hata kuwa kitu hata fanikiwa these people are pagans but they were calling on their gods it is only christians that we are less when it comes to dealing with our god wengine hawawezi fungua biashara yao mpaka wafukize uvumba kwa miungu yao wengine lazima wafunge duka zao saa saba waende maombi na mukristo hawezi save time these people are busy sacrificing to their god but the only true prophet the only man who knew god the only man who was a prophet and had a nanza was sleeping i want you to understand Mungu hana institution nyingine duniani ya kusaidia ulimwengu isipokuwa kanisa. Kama tu ni wewe umeokoka kwenu. Mungu hana njia nyingine ya kusaidia hiyo jamii isipokuwa wewe. Gaida na hadu hagi agekinya oke kwanyu otiga we oe gai. Na kwa hivyo wakati umelala ni hasara. Hakuna makanyagio mengine ya Mungu kukomboa Kenya isipokuwa kanisa. Ndio anasema we are the light. Na sasa hiyo Mungu amekutegemea hivi. Mungu amekutegemea hivi. Unaamua utatoroka away from his will. Unaenda huko chini. Na ndio unashindwa kwani Mungu hana nguvu. Ni kama kusema okay mimi si fan wa football. Lakini at least najua kuna Man U na Arsenal na hata sijui ni gani. Which is which but I know there are those two teams. Amen. And once in a while I join my husband not really because I'm interested but I want to keep him company. Women muchanuke kwa hiyo hata kama hautaki jipeleke tu na usio usiende opposite team kwa ile anashangilia because you want peace at home. Amen. So imagine which is powerful, Manu or Arsenal. Lakini sipendi Manu because nasikia ni red devils and I have nothing to do with the devils. So I would rather go for this other one. Kuandaliwe mchezo. Halafu tuambiwe ya kwamba wanacheza na Harambe Stars. Utakuwa na haja ya kuona hiyo match kweli. So you can already predict the outcome hata kama wewe si prophet. Si ndio? Si wataweza pigwa hata mabao 40 before mercy na nini na nini I mean. Si tunajua ni ukweli unless a miracle happens eh. Sasa imagine siku ile wanapigana vita ama wanacheza football. Hiyo team either Arsenal or Man U iamue haikuji kwa uwanja our harambe stars will carry the day ufalme wa shetani unanawiri sio kwa sababu Mungu hana nguvu lakini manabii wake kama yona wamelala can you imagine the marina ni alienda the next verse anamwambia how can you sleep how can you just be asleep wakati ni kukufa tunakufa utawezaje lala majira kama haya jona akamuliza wewe ni nani ya yeah? itakuwaje kanisa samson ni mnazari wa bwana na yule ambaye anamuamsha ni kahaba ni nani anapaswa kuamsha nani anamwambia samson the philistines are outside here itakuwaje sisi ndio tuna ufunguo sisi ndio nuru sisi ndio tuna suluhisho and we can't offer it we are sleeping sasa hiyo mtu anadetermine mtu mmoja wa Mungu 
a, a city I don't want to mention. Alikuwa amekuja kuuliza maombi kwa sababu aliona kwa duka yake hakuna CCTV. Alafu alipoweka CCTV, usiku wa manane akaona watu wamejifunga, wamekuja kumwaga mwaga damu hapo. Akajua kumbe inakuaga vita. Kumbe inakuaga vita. My friend. My friend. Ukae tu hivi alafu ufikirie utawoka kwa hatima yako hivyo. Utaona ushindi wa Bwana. Ndio Biblia ina inasema aliyemwambia amuka akamuuliza wewe ni nani? Akasema mimi niona. Na mimi ni nabii wa Bwana. Na hii kisirani yote ni mimi nimeleta. Eh? Hebu angalia jirani umwambie hii kisirani yote tunaona Nairobi ni nyinyi, ni nyinyi hivi sirani. Because kama nuru ingeangaa Giza huti nuru. Praise the name of the Lord. Iyo kisira ni yote unaona kwenye nyumbani, watu wakichapana. It's lack of prayer. The kingdom of our God is not coming. Ivi sira ni yote unaona nyumba zimekuwa kama wrestling grounds. Ni kwa sababu watu walikata kukaribisha watumishi wa nyumba kwa nyumbani. Na Bible inasema, yesu wakatuambia muna poenda tangazeni ya mani. So people, people have, the, have opted for private life. Unajenga ukuta, unaweka rea, reza waya, harafu unaongeza ya stima, na inja unandika umbu wa wakari. Uzijaribu hii territory. Neja tani ulimfungia kwako in that rea waza. Uzifikirie mungu haku kuwa na hekima akisema, open your houses for the servants of God. Paulo anasema, even though we don't have money, we carry grace that has changed lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Iti ya mchungaji kuku wakule, atatangaza baraka. Wanaensu wa sifiwe, imamba ya private and confidential life. What do I turn in I? At the cause of Muko Nairobi. At a common in Nairobi, the principles of God doesn't change. They still remain. Praise the name of the Lord. Jonah Alienda Chini Chini Chini. Biblia in a sema. Wakati Ali Rushua kwa Samaki. Samaki Kamumeza. Na Kaenda Chini Zaidi. Na akiwa huko chini zaidi, kilicho mtoa chini ni maombi. Alipoanza kuomba. Hmm? Kuna muhubiri moja alikuwa na, anahubiri mahali kwa gali. You know, uh, one on one. Anasema, eh, kitabu cha yona. Akasema, yona alimeza samaki. Samaki alimeza yona. Nona? Ni nani yali? So wakasema badala ya kusumbuliwa. Samaki. Na unajua people can take advantage. Jonah kemeli ya thamaki. Thamaki kemeli ya Jonah. Dira menya no no kwa li na kumerani ya hau. I mean ni nakandere ya rasam. <laughs> chapter 3 ya Jonah. Bibile inasema nini chapter 2. Please in the entire chapter 2 as I conclude. Then Jonah. Did what? Prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish belly. Alipata muzigo aje through the experience. Alipitia. I want you to understand, child of God, nothing in God is wasted. Even if the experience is so painful, even if it has crushed him, nothing in God is wasted. As a young mother, when I, I had my firstborn, first of all, the devil was waiting for me in labor ward. Were it not the prayers of the saints? I remember one woman was my landlord. She was a widow. And after I delivered, this is what she told me. For three days, si kumeza mbaka mate. Kwa sababu niliona shetani ya mekungoje ya leba wa. Oh, that God may raise such women. Three days, mimi ni tenant, na naniona. And she's a mother, a widow. And she said for three days. And surely the devil was waiting for me there in the leba wa. And I remember, I labored, labored those very, you know. And then that lunch hour. 
So that the doctor had to make a decision. Nimpeleke theater and I knew if I go to theater I will not come out. That's where the devil was waiting for me. But I can still remember the prayers of the saint. Kwa hiyo korido ya lebawa. I would hear kama nyuki. Nilikuwa nasikia. Sa hiyo daktari ananitayarisha, ananitayarisha. All of a sudden the child came out. And the theater was cancelled. And then I started the battles of my child. Anakuwa mugonjwa, hakui temperatures. By two years, hasimami, hafanyi, hanini. Mbaka siku moja nikaandikua by the best pediatrician. Akaniandikia admission. And uh, the cause of the disease is not known. Nikaiangalia hivi nikairarua. Na nikasema, kama huyu mtoto anakufaka hakufe leo. Nime shindu wana hii maisha. And I went home to cut the long story short. It was not easy, but that made me develop a burden for young children. When I see a young mother, I must take the child. Mutoto wa kizaliwa ni kikutemberea kwa kwa wata kama sijui. I must look at the umbilical cord. How did the burden come? Through that painful experience. Nothing in God is wasted. Are you in the middle of hell? May you conceive the burden. Are you in the midst of affliction? May you conceive the burden. Are you heartbroken? May you conceive the burden. Are you paying school fees with bursary? May God raise you to be a financier. To start a foundation that will help orphans go to school. Jonah out of the belly and asema and said I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I and thou heardest my voice. Can you imagine Jonah and Alia katikati ya gastric juice. Katikati ya those digestive system. Na mungu anamsaidia. Si Jehovah akupe nguvu ya kulitia jinalak. Si Jehovah akupe nguvu ya kulilia jina lake. Nani angetoa huyu mtu hapa? In fact, intercession it is because there is some things that cannot be solved apart from prayer. Sasa nani angeenda kufishi huyu samaki? Na ni gadget gani ingerushwa kwa maji ili iweze kupiga ultrasound kwa wale hueli wote wako kwa ocean ndio jona aonekane I tell you my friend hapo huko akiampaki na kuambia if you pray the hand of God is not short his ears are not deaf I pray that the spirit of prayer shall come upon you and the grace to pray Kisha anasema the next voice, verse anasema For thou had cast me into the deep in the midst of the sea and the flood compassed me about all thy billows and thy waves passed me over verses 4 Then I say I am cast out of thy sight yet I will look again toward the holy temple Daudi anasema I mean John anasema nimezingirwa na maji nimezingirwa na giza lakini hata katika hii hali nitatazama hekalu naomba uinue macho yako juu juu ya mawimbi yaliyokuzingira juu ya giza inayokuzomea juu ya hali zilizokuweka chini macho yako yatazame zayuni kwa sababu kuna msaada na napenda Mungu even in the midst of a fish, you can still locate where he is by faith. Amen. Ukinyamaza, utaisha. Usipo nyamaza, kuna woko. Praise the name of the Lord. And then he says, verses 5. The water compassed me about even to the soul. The depth closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped about my head. Nafikiria ni mara. 
nikifikiria unajua naiandika na poetry eh hiyo mara ilikuwa imemzingira na saa zingine unajaribu kwenda unasikia kama mambo imekuzingira naomba leo chochote kilicho kuzingira kimefunga mawazo yako kimefunga macho yako kimefunga hatima yako tunaachilia neno la Bwana leo kwa neno la maombi kwa muka let the captives be set free let those who are oppressed be set free Uwezi zingirwa kuliko jona alizingirwa lakini aliomba Praise the name of the Lord Verse 6 Bible inasema I went down to the bottom of the mountains the earth with the bars was a, was about me forever yet has thou brought my life from corruption O Lord my God Verse 7 When my soul fainted within me I remembered the Lord and my prayer came in unto thee into thy holy temple may you raise up a voice to the Lord may your prayers come before God today may the Lord remember your sacrifices may the Lord remember your callings unto him may they reach his throne finally an assembly bible inasema they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy and then he says but i will sacrifice unto the lord with the voice of thanksgiving i will pay that that i have vowed salvation is of the lord wokovu ni wa bwana jehovah akutumie wokovu jehovah akuletee msaada jehovah akufungue siku ya leo as you renew your vow of communing with God. Amen. Na Biblia inasema verses 3. Na samaki akawa commanded na Bwana akaanza kupanda juu na akatapika jona. Niombi langu ya kwamba siku ya leo chochote kilichomeza maisha yako chochote kilichomeza hatima yako chochote kinachokuzomea as you call on the name of the lord wacha inchi ikutapike wacha hatima zilizomezwa zitapike hatima ya jamii yako hatima ya watoto wako let there be a release as we call on the name of the lord tusimame kwa miguu yetu wao kaimba na kusema Toto tera ganeki kumwaliria kaigema Prayer removed Jonah from where no one would remove him I tell you my friends today it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the kind of sorrow Unajaribu kuiondokea. Unasikia ni kulia tu utalia. Lakini tukiliitia jina la Bwana Mungu anasuluhisha. Mungu ana jawabu. There is nothing that is too hard for God. No amount of pain that God cannot deal with. Are you struggling? Ndio Yakobo anasema kuna mtu anaugua is anyone afflicted si Mungu atusaidie kuchukua mzigo and i remember that day i came to my end with my son nikampeleka kwa nyumba na nikasema kama nakufaga i'm tired and i told god and the whole night he was conversing but i was telling god i'm done I can't take it anymore. And in the morning I woke up it was on a Saturday on a Sunday. That time we were living in Akuru. I had to come to Nyeri for a mission. Nikasema naenda. Kwa sababu hata nikikaa hapa na niliamua hospitali siendi tena. Sitafanya kitu I went. Nikahubiri mpaka jioni. I was calling my house. Yuko. 
ananiambia yuko kwa sauti kengine kaniambia watu watasema we ni wewe mwanamke mchinga kuliko wanawake wote duniani unaambiwa pereke ya mtoto wote unaenda home na jioni nikirudi si kwenda mahali nilikuwa i mean nikakosa gari ya kunifikisha na kuu so nikalala samu ya nyahururu so asubuhi nikapiga simu wako nikaambiwa wako nikasema sasa hii hata nikienda naenda kufanya nini nikaenda shule nikafundisha mpaka 5 na bado saa hii yako there is a god who answers prayer there is a god who hears the cry of his people there is a god i pray for you today that you will conceive the burden of prayer you will conceive burden of prayer there is joy in prayer joy in prayer I've seen the Lord speak to me about my family members and I take my phone and tell them if you do one, two, three, it will not be well with you. Don't do it. One time, tukiwa kwa staff room, tukakaanisha na mwalimu in a staff meeting. Na nikamwambia wewe Mungu alinionyesha usiku umefuruga staff meeting ya leo. Akashtuka. So tulipomaliza staff meeting akaniambia ulikuwa unasema nini nikamwambia hivi akaniambia na ndio nilikuwa nimetaka kufanya The gifts of the Holy Spirit are not only operational here they are supposed to help people even those the devil has ordained to kill we deliver them when we take responsibility and conceive the pardon of prayer God loves people even those people who are not born again God loves them Siku moja mtu mmoja hata tujuani bwana ananionyesha kwa maona ya usiku amekalia kiti amekatalia hiyo kiti Kaenda akamwambia kuna kitu nakatalia na bwana anataka uachane nayo na alipoachana nayo Mungu amembariki sana Wapendwa aki situambie Mungu si utumiminie hii roho ya maombi si Bwana unijaze na nguvu za maombi si usiku wa leo unitunge msigo wako kile nimesikia kile nitahisi huo uchungu umepitia isikue waste isikue waste ikue you are a vessel in God's making would you lift your hands to heaven for five minutes Would you call on the name of God tonight this afternoon in Jesus name Tutaanza kumwambia Bwana nitunge mzigo Bwana nitunge mzigo wa maombi Niondolee upofu Bwana Mahali sijaelewa nipe kuelewa Nisaidie kukusikia Isaia alipoona binguni imefunguka hiyo experience ilifanya achukue msigo wakati alisikia ni nani nitatuma akasema bwana nitume mimi God is not a sadist hiyo unapitia sio bure will you allow God to make you through that experience will you allow God to make you through that pain Will you allow God to have his way in the name of Jesus when conception takes place kutunga kukifanyika then the rest grow moving on it becomes a lifestyle Pour out your spirit upon us oh God Zechariah 12 and 10 Thou shalt pour the spirit of prayer and the enablement that only the Holy Spirit can bring into our lives. Tupe nguvu Bwana. Tupe nguvu ya kulitia jina lako. Wengine wetu hatima zetu zimepingwa. Machozi yamekuwa chakula usiku na mchana. Kupitia machozi haya Tengeneza vifaa utakavyotumia 
Wengine tumepitia aibu Hatuchuidi aibu ya inaga Tumepitia aibu nzito Lakini wacha aibu hii isiwe pure bwana Meka sogo Meka sogo Because in you nothing is wasted Nothing is a waste For you have a way oh God Of turning our captivity Of changing our bad times into good times oh God For in everything worker together for good Hata wakati yona alikuwa ndani Ya tumbo ya samaki Alisema nitaandali ya hekalu ya bwana Tunakuindulia macho yetu jioni hii Tunakuindulia macho yetu wa nasiri ya leo Tunaundua macho yetu Kwa mambo ya nayo tuzingira Kwa mambo ya nayo tufinya Kwa mambo ya nayo tufinyiria Bwana tunakuindulia macho Tunakuindulia macho leo Tunakutazama bwana Rebo salaba shanda Rekendo korobo seke Tarianda raba saya Terobo shekendo korobo sa You are our help oh God 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 Father You are our help righteous Father Rekendo korobo saya Tariando raba seke Tarama sanda raba Rekendo korobo saya Reshe tarabo kondo korobo Tarianda raba seke Rianda raba saya Shatarabo kondo korobo Hear us from heaven oh God Hear us from heaven we pray Oh may our prayers and supplication oh God Reach thy throne of mercy today. We cry to you. We cry to you. For salvation belongs to you. For deliverance belongs to you. Unachua kesho yetu. Unaelewa hatima yetu mwana. Umetuchunguza na kutuchua. Mawazo yetu unayaelewa. Tunakuangalia mwana. Adhuhuri hii ya leo. Tutumie msaada. Tutumie msaada. Wengine tumezingiru anagiza Hatujue tufanya nini Lakini tunakulilia leo Tunakulilia leo Tunakulilia leo bada Katika hii giza Katika hii viki Katika haya mateso Katika huu gonjwa Tutumie msaada bwana katika hii dhoruba ya ndoha katika misuka suko ya ndoha katika upweke wetu katika huzuni zetu ah bwana send us help send us help send us help oh god send us help baba father send us help glorious god rebo seketarabo rekendo karabo tarabe sandaraba sa rekendo karabo sa riando robo riala sa ya rikando robo tarere riando rianda la baraba baraba sa ondo aule upofu wa moe oh jehova ondo upofu wa mio yetu upofu wa macho yetu uzivi wa masikio yetu ondo abana risharabo kondo may you give a divine encounter to someone today oh god in the name of jesus we need you we need you father Give us the power to call on your name. Let the bowels of intercession break for the God. Let the wombs of intercession be ignited, O God. Rebo Sata Rabo, Tarama Sanda Rabo, Yakanda Kere Kolabosa, Tariando Rabosake, Tariando Kolabosaki Alasa. We need you. Na kuinulia ma choya nguna kuinulia ju na kuinulia ma choya nguna kuinulia ju na kuinulia ba na. Queen Olivia.
Juto, wengine wako katika aibu. Salvation belongs to you. Deliverance belongs to you. Wakombo e bana. Kila gereza la upweke. Lililo shika wengi. Naliyamburu kuwa chini na leo. Kila gereza la magonjo. Lililo wanasa wengi. Natangaza uhuru wako Waliofumbwa bana Natangaza kufunguliwa kwao Walionyamazishwa na adui Midomo yao ikafunguliwe tena Ukawapa nguvu ya kuliti ya jina lao Tumimini ya roho wa maombi Tumimini ya roho wa maombolezi Tusaidi ya kulili ya maisha yetu Ya watoto wetu Ya jamii zetu Tushike na mkono wako bana Katika china la yesu Naombea ushirika huwa hape chachiro ilo bana Mimi na roho wa maombi Wacha kila utasa uvunjike Wacha kila kukauki waku uvunjike Katika china la yesu I pray for the womb of intercession let the refiner's fire refine your people today. Katika jina la Yesu, kila mimba iliyotungwa ambayo sio ya Bwana iweze kuavia na achilia moto wa roho, moto wa roho, moto wa roho kuchoma kisicho cha Bwana, kuchoma kisicho cha Bwana, kuchoma kila unajisi, kuchoma kila takataka ili mizigo ya Bwana ipate nafasi, mizigo ya Bwana ipate kutulia. We thank you Lord. We bless your name. Give us strength. Give us strength. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to ask Reverend something. Amen. I want to pray with this woman. You brown woman. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My sister, the pain that you are going through is untold.
painful things that you cannot even share with anyone. The Lord is making an intercessor in you. Amen. You know the background of your family is tough. And there are boundaries you are trying to cross. Lakini ni kama shetani ameapa. Lakini leo. Na achilia neema. Kila uchu. Na inukia kila madhapa. Ya nae opigana na hii hatima. In the name of Jesus. Every legal right is disarmed. This is a vessel, a vessel of honor, a vessel of intercession. In the name of Jesus, I release the grace of prayer, the grace of travail. You are a deliverer, even to your family, a deliverer. The anointing to deliver. Kila maagano. Yaliofanyo kwa niyaba yako. Katika madhabahu haya tunayakanusha. Katika jina la yesu. Na leo tunakufungulia. Kwa kila gereza. In the name of Jesus. We command every prison. To let you go. Let you go. Let you go. No claim over your life. Jesus paid it all. Every demonic cycles to frustrate your life, they are broken. So into the hates. So into the hates. The hates that God has ordained for your life. Let it be so long. Let it be so far. In the name of Jesus. Can I pray for you? Father. I bless this maiden, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I release grace. She will not run away from the preparation table. She will not run away from preparation table. But I pray for grace to abide until the operation of the Holy Spirit is done. Father, I thank you. I want to pray for who you mama and a mask. I want to pray for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, to Talia Kwakugua, Utawasha Moto, Wamada Pahu, Kwamaombi, Utafundisha Kizaz. Maombi. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can I pray for you? I perceive in my heart the Lord is calling you into moments of intense prayer because of where he wants to take you. And the Lord desires 
it's like you are you're too cautious you're too cautious you're too cautious but the Lord wants you to open your wings of faith and come to a place of saying I don't care I know my life is in his hands and you will say from today you will cry like a baby and Nehemiah you not care about your dignity again because when God captures the heart of a man dignity doesn't matter you will pray Karanja you will cry you will mourn you will prevail for you will birth a generation in prayer there is a sword in your hand as a pathfinder let this travail be released let this morning be released in the name of Jesus you will say like Nehemiah like Jeremiah I try to be quiet yes the fire. Let the Lord transform you into another man, into a new man. Let the fire of God consume everything that is your own. Yes, I call for, I call for all that your eyes and your head may be full of water. In the name of Jesus, a pathfinder, a pathfinder, a pathfinder. In the name of Jesus. Why is the wife? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we glorify your name. May you drink today. May you drink from the river of God. Deep calleth unto the deep. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the fire of God. The fire of God. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. sister pray for this man release him to God release him to God surrender him to the altar of God that God may do what he desires to do stand with him in prayer intercede for him because you are becoming is in his becoming you will find your place in him usijali mtakula nini mungu hawezi kuwaita akuse kuwapecha kula is not the character of god lord i pray for this woman and i pray for grace i impart the grace of a mother in her life whatever her many questions are may she find rest in the name of Jesus that she will not serve you out of a heavy heart but she will serve you out of rest I bless this couple Lord and may your hand be upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. And one of the things the Lord is giving to you, Karanja, the ability to teach his word. Let us have it. The ability to teach his word. When God raises a man as a father, he will give you bread for the children. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord. And we bless you.
bless your holy name. Can I pray for this lady? Naskia moyo uliona majuto mengi. Majuto. Na kujiuliza, is this all that is there in serving God? Kupigana vita vya utakatifu ina faida. Na ninaona soja aliyechoka. Soja ambaye anasema is it worth? The Lord says it is worth. It is worth. It is worth to stand for righteousness. It is worth to fight the battle of faith. You are not alone my sister. Na mambo haya hayajakuja kukumaliza. Yamekuja kukuunda. Mana uko katika mkono wa mfinyanzi. In the name of Jesus. Receive grace to stand in the midst of fire and may the Lord grace you in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you, ma'am. Rafiki wa mungu Maita maike matita ukika Todo mona kama otomalea matarono Maigua kama otomalea mataraiguo Maiguideka kama otomalea mataraiguideka And in your calling as a prophetic intercessor You have paid the price of a lonely life kwa kutoeleweka lakini Mungu anakuelewa na Bwana amekuinua kama muombezi wa kuleta uhai hata katika jangwa the life of God will come forth through you and I see God lifting a woman with strong shoulders, a camel for God, to carry generational responsibility. <laughs> and the Lord is bringing your ministry for women to spring forth. They will come on these shoulders. They will cry. They will receive healing. And you will infect the same grace. I call the women ministry in you. The women ministry in you. It is time for manifestation. It will not be hindered any longer. It will not be stopped. May you rise and raise a number of women for God. May this travail be infectious as you teach young mothers. In the name of Jesus, every limitation give way. Every hindrance give way. I call these women ministry to break forth, to break forth, receive grace to bath it, for it is not by might, nor by power, it's by the Spirit. Prepare an army for God. First, I want to pray for your daughter. Where is she? The daughter of Pastor, where are you?
God. The seed of God. The seed of God upon this girl will never be aborted. Will never be thwarted. A nester for our generation. A star that cannot be covered. No matter the opposition. You are called for greatness. You are called to shine. May your music ministry thrive. I call forth prophetic songs. Prophetic praise. In the name of Jesus. And every darkness engulfing you, I command it to give way. I call you into the spiritual state you are supposed to be. For the seed of the righteous shall be great in the land. You will dine with the great and the mighty. You will stand in places of honor. Yes, the Lord will beautify you inside and outside. Receive grace. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Man of God, can I? Can I tell you what the Lord, I hear the Lord saying to you? The grace of a father is coming upon your life. You have been faithful in the little, but it has pleased the Lord to propel you ahead. And the Lord is releasing fresh manna. As you release the word of God, it's coming forth with power and authority. As Joseph gathered the grain and the nation came to where the food was, so is it in your life. It is a season that the Lord is displaying you for what you carry and the grace to father and nature is upon you. The hand of the Lord has purpose to propel you ahead. And I hear the Lord say, it is well with your children because you cannot serve me and suffer shame. A season of exposure, the grace to father, the grace to raise sons, and the Lord will cause you to know them. Them that will carry the spirit of fatherhood. If it's okay, I can lay my hands on you. Lord, when you went to the house of Jesse, you saw the heart. You have seen this heart. And you have raised him as a shepherd of your people. May he never lack bread to give to the children. The wisdom to raise a generation for you. May this ministry be amplified. I display it in the realm of the spirits, the sons, the daughters, the pillars of financials, destiny help us, connected to this servant. Let them manifest. Let them come forth. For a season may tarry, but there is fulfillment. Yes, this is the set time. This is the set time. Lyra, open up for this work. The south, the east, the north, the west. Open up. Let it be so, Lord. Let it be so. In 
Jesus name. I want to bless you, young girl. I just want to bless you. Jacob did not ask for resources. He said, bless me. Just lift up your hands to God. I bless this maid servant. I bless her. I bless her. The blessings that activates that which has been dormant, let it be activated. Let it be activated in the life of this your maid servant. Let this ministry of worship flow in the name of Jesus. Can I pray for you, ma'am? The ministry of help to help others, to stand by others, to cry with them, to sorrow with them, let it manifest now. In the name of Jesus, let every distraction give way. In the name of Jesus, I impart the grace of prayer, the grace of travail on your life. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord perfect that which concerns you. May the Lord answer you in the day of your trouble. Amen. And may the Lord grant you rest. May you receive the grace to travail, the grace to pray, the ability to call on the name of the Lord. And wherever you are, may the Lord cause you to sing the song of deliverance, even as Jonah sang it. As you conceive the burden of prayer, may the Lord propel you to hate for his own glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless Come on, church, we can do better than that. Amen, amen, amen. And to God be all the glory. Can you lift both of your hands and say it? And to God be all the glory. Sifa na utukufu ni kwa mungu wetu. Number two, kama unaweza tukumwambi. To just tell God, thank you for everything He has done in our lives today, for every prophetic word, for every grace, for every anointing that He has released upon our lives today. I believe God has done something for you. Mwambie Bwana asante kwa dakika moja kwa sababu ya chochote ambacho ametenda vile ambavyo ameweza kutuhuisha tena vile ambavyo ameweza kuinua tena maisha yako ya maombi hayatakuwa vile tena roho wa Bwana tunasema asante roho mtakatifu tunakushukuru asante kwa sababu ya kutuguza leo ah tulikugoja nawe umekubali kuja na kushuka katika maisha yetu umekubali kuponya maisha yetu ya maombi umekubali kuguza za tena na kuhuisha tena vipawa vya maombi miongoni mwetu tunakuinua tunakupeperushia mikono ya asante tunatoa ibada ya shukurani nikitu ukikuhe mwadhani tika to kuherile newega nikitu ukinaegera mwadhani tika to herile gaiwito newega nikitu ukeka nikaeda gaiwito amenye ture ya rathime tika kumwela newega wana asante tunasema asante tunasema asante pokea sifa heshima na utukufu kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu tumeomba na kuamine amen tunaweza uketi deka moja Wow, we thank God so much. 
We prayed and we expected this. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tuliomba na tulitarajia. Na wengine wetu tulipata hakikisho hii. Wakati tulikuwa tunaomba hapa hata kwa morning devotion. Bwana alisema atatutembelea. Bwana asifiwe. Wangapi wametembelewa na Bwana? Wangapi wame na Bwana nipeperushie mkono kama umeguzwa na Bwana amen wangapi anasema nitaomba wangapi anasema Bwana anidunge mimba ya, ya mzigo wake amen na amen tumpe mtumishi wa Bwana makofi mazuri thank you so much servant of God we really appreciate God for sending you here to us we thank God for you thank you for your life tumpigie makofi hata anapoenda kupata kikombe cha maji diwareje. Now, time yetu ni nzuri. This is a prophetic Sunday. Time yetu ni nzuri. Uh, ni vizuri kukojea bwana. Hata Yesu aliwaambia muende in the upper room na mgoje. Praise the Lord. Wangapo anasema nitaendelea kugojea. Amen. So, kama umebarikiwa na neema hii, Asha tafadhali, I want to you to give wale watu ambao wako hapa wale ambao wanaendelea kugojea wale ambao wamebarikiwa wale ambao wameguzwa na neema hii we want to bless the woman of god hatuwezi kulipa hatuwezi kumulipa hatuwezi kulipa kazi hiyo amefanya siku hizo amekuwa na sisi hapa siku mbili na bible imesema wale wanafanya kazi ya madhabahu wa kule kutoka wapi from the altar lakini tunaweza kumwambia asante mtumishi wa Bwana. And so we have some very special envelopes that you can pick and tell the woman of God. Asante woman of God, Mungu alikutuma kwangu. Na ningeomba ya kwamba neema hiyo iko juu yako hata kwangu iwepo. Kwa begu ambayo ninapanda maishani mwako, mzigo wa Bwana uzaliwe ndani yangu. Usijali ni nini uko nayo, Bible inasema hata kikombe cha maji baridi. Amen. Just pick that envelope as you say thank you servant of God. Amen. Yeah. Huyu mtumishi wa Mungu kumpata eh to get her. Washe niwaambie. Eh? Sijui kama tunaweza kuambiwa kama Yesu vile alilia Jerusalem. Akasema eh na I wish unaweza mnaweza kutambua wakati wa kutembelewa kwenu. To get this woman of God to be with us in a Sunday service. I'm telling you people of Happy Church ni baraka kubwa kutoa kwa Mungu. Mungu ametubariki. You can sacrifice <coughs> at a pesa ulikuwa umepangia mambo fulani. We tell this woman of God, thank you and God bless you for coming. Mimi ninajua kuna destinies zimefunguliwa hapa. Mimi ninajua kuna mizigo imeondoka juu ya familia yako hapa. Ni vile tu haujajua sasa, but I know because I know how God uses her. Eh, kuweza kufungua destinies kulilizi watu kwa baraka zao amen and so shukua hiyo bahasha asema hii pesa nilikuwa nimeweka <coughs> ya kupitia sokoni lakini i want to connect with that grace oh usifikirie ni mchezo mtu ambaye anaambiwa mtoto wako enda ukakae hospitalini hatujui ni nini ugonjwa lakini anasema mtoto wangu na mimi hatutaenda hospitali anaenda nyumbani that's, that's very high level ya neema na mimi nataka neema hiyo kwa jina la Yesu. Nifike mahali I don't care kuhusu mambo yangu ya kawaida. Praise the Lord. Mimi najari mzigo wa Bwana katika maisha yangu. Amen. Na kwa hivyo weka katika mfuko huo. Hata wale mnani wash online, wengi wenu umebarikiwa, unaweza kuweka sadaka yako ya mtumishi wa Bwana kwa paybill number 186903. Wale ambao mko Marekani, unaweza kuweka kwa 0707 768778 We want to tell the woman of God God bless you so much Mungu akubariki sana Amen Yeah Unaweza kusema hata kama haujafikiwa Na all ladies eh Nikisema all ladies mpaka wasichana don't go Kile ambacho kinafuata hapa atakuwa na wakati mwingi wa kuminister And so because of that <coughs> hatuta hatuta kunywa shai baada All the ladies na kwa hivyo si wadu wadu ni sikuone na kikombe eh? nasema all ladies praise the lord you'll get a cup of tea wale ambao mnapea wadada tafadhali na, naomba siyo kama wataenda huko nyuma nini eh? mpango ni, najua ulikuwa ni baada lakini we can do that uh, before the session maana ninajua i know reverend winnie mimi ninamjua 
eh na mimi najua vile hiyo <coughs> hiyo ibada ya wadada ninajua vile itaisha praise the lord hakuna mtu ataenda nyumbani na mwingine mudu arele kage vyo ni mwadhani eh praise the lord eh ha, ha, haitaisha na mpango unaona ile inaisha na mpango and now may the grace la 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 mimi ninajua ya reverend wini maana akianza kupinista to you ladies wengine wenyu mtashangaa ile mambo ambayo Mungu anamsaidia anamfunulia eh kuhusu maisha yako praise the lord wale ambao wamekuwa minister too saa hii they can tell you amen and also you can tell so all ladies hata wale young muko college na nini eh lebron wini atafungua destiny yako wewe hautaenda kama wasichana wengine praise the lord haitadedeka kwako kama wengine kwa hivyo usiwe na haraka ya kwenda tu ati kwenda huko sokoni kusalimia na wasichana wengine remain in the presence of god you never know maybe you are the mary ambaye eh, you know mary hakujua ni yeye eh, ataabiwa you are highly favored na utazaa yesu eh, haujui maybe unasema wewe ni msichana tu wa college na maybe wewe ndiye mary wa kizazi chetu ndiye mary wa this church ndiye mary wa your generation So usiwe na haraka kwenda sijui kucharge simu sijui kwenda wapi whatsapp just remain in the presence of god so tukiondoka wengine men tukiondoka as a lady just have your cup of tea na nione mtu ambaye ataniambia where it will be served amen alafu we remain na nakwambia hata kama watakuwa 20 ladies eh reverend wini i know her hata mkibaki watano she will minister to you amen so si kusema ya kwamba ukienda kuna kitu wale tutabaki tutapoteza a uh-uh. wale ambao muta remain praise the lord i assure you today utaenda nyumbani ukisema bwana asante nilikojea amen so i want you to bring to me whatever you want to plant in the life of the woman of god anything that you want to plant to her on her behalf i want to receive it nataka niipokee kwa mikono yangu so kama uko nayo lete lete weka kwa mikono yangu na ipokea kwa niamba ya the servant of god and if there is a special prayer you'd like her to pray for you you can write there thank you god bless you thank you god bless you ninaipokea kwa niamba ya reverend winnie god bless you na niwaambia she is an international preacher ameenda mataifa thank you david god bless you Brother Karima God bless you. Thank you God bless you. God bless you my brother. Unaweza kupanda hata begu ya msichana wako. Usema msichana wangu atakuwa kama huyu mtumishi wa Mungu. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Naipokea kwa niaba yake. God bless you my sister. God bless you. 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 God bless you my brother. God bless you. 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 Tunasema neema hii ya mama mtumishi wa Mungu. A prophet of God. This grace to remain with us. God bless you my brother. God bless you my sister. God bless you. God bless you. This grace. Thank you. Nishukurie. Pastor Karaya nishukurie. Aya. God bless you my brother. Hata kama umeweka kwa kwa Mpesa unaweza kushukua tu baasha. God bless you my brother. Thank you this grace this grace ingie mpaka kwa watoto wetu ingie mpaka kwa ministry zetu wale ambao mnasikia you have a prophetic ministry yeah weka begu kwa maisha yake god bless you hey praise god how are you hey hii anointing imekuleta amen hii unaweza kusema mimi naweka mbegu hii kwa maisha ya mtumishi wa Mungu hata kwa sababu ya my prophetic ministry ya my gift in Jesus name amen So, si Mungu atubariki sana. Si Mungu atutendee mema. Si Mungu awe nasi wiki hii. Si Mungu afanye tuwe watu wa maombi. Si Mungu afanye uh, ukose amani mpaka uombe. Eh? Kwa nyumba yako Mungu afanye ukose amani hata wakati unapoona kipindi ambacho unapenda cha TV. Si Mungu aweke kitu ndani yako ambayo inakwambia funga st- zima TV uombe. Si Mungu afanye mkose amani katika bedroom zenu ili muweze kuomba kama unasema hiyo ni yangu inua mkono sema amen amen si Mungu asababishe tuendelee kuongezeka katika ma, eh, eh, ibada za morning devotion 
na ibada za Tuesday in the name of Jesus I'm looking forward to see some of you tomorrow morning kwa morning devotion na kwa Tuesday kwa mid, uh, kwa uh, mkutano wa maombi God bless you so much tunaweza uh, kusema sijaona mtu ambaye ataniambia wadada watakunywa chai aje ni hapa ni huko ni wherever amen eh? Pastor Karaja do you know Amen. So, so mahali popote chai itakuwa. All ladies eh wale ambao ni wa family wale ambao ni young mahali chai itakuwa enda ukunywe alafu ukuje uanze kuomba as we wait for the servant of God. So let's rise on our feet. Amen amen. Remember Tuesday ni maombi, Wednesday ni midweek service, Friday ni ego service. Oh, na wageni. Wageni bado muko? Ebu nione kama wageni wetu bado wako wale mliniua mikono eh niko inoko ra eh oh haya <laughs> wageni 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 let me have the guests come all our visitors please come come forward come forward all our visitors wageni wimbo wa wageni wageni wow all our visitors come 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 baraka yetu Tunashangilia Wageni wetu twawapenda e Wageni wetu twawapenda e Tunashangilia twawapenda e Rembesha 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 Wageni wetu twawapenda e Twashangilia twawapenda e Rembesha 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 Twawapenda Mume wa rembesha wageni vizuri Ebu rudie hiyo party ya kurembesha wageni ukisikia rembesha tunawawekea maua ya kuambia we love you and thank you so much for coming amen unafikisha wapi rembesha 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 twawapenda rembesha 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 twawapenda rembesha 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 twawapenda rembesha 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 twawapenda rembesha 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 Uh, isipokuwa ni time tungetaka kuwasikia nyote tusikie vile mnaongea you look lovely amen si wageni wetu wanaonekana wazuri hebu tuwape makofi mazito amen wale ambao mlikuwa mnatafuta church maybe umehamia area hii uh, unakaa kimbo gedhurai weteidie thika wapi you live around eh? umehamia huko eh sasa usisumbuke tena umepata church si ndio yeah kama ulikuwa umetembea na utarudi kwenu huko Kisumu wapi na Kuru ukienda hebu tuwape salamu za kupeleka kwao amen so unaona hawa watu wako na hizo baji sawa hawa hawa wote hao na wengine wako huko nyuma ya hema ni nyinyi walikuwa wanagojea so as we sing this song ninaamini mami umeasha kibeti huko eh utaendea kibeti na ukiendea kipedi please usika uende huko nyumba ya nyumba ya wageni, ya nyumba ya wageni eh? yeah so tunapoimba mara ya mwisho nataka tutatokea pande hii pastor karanja utanisaidia ku escort wageni wetu ili waende nyumba ya wageni mara ya mwisho wageni wageni wetu twawapenda tutashangilia twawapenda wageni wetu twawapenda rebesha 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 twawapenda amen and amen Now, hata hiyo ya wageni imenikumbusha something very important. Ya kwa bado tuko kwa month of others, we are still inviting people to church. Baron 17, can you say 17? 17 ndio huwa tunafunga nayo mwezi wa others na huwa tunaita back to church Sunday. So on 17th of this month is back to church Sunday. Na vile huwa tunafanya tunahakikisha tunaleta watu wengi zaidi wale watu ambao unajua walikuwa wameokoka wengine waliwekwa nyumbani na corona make sure that sunday back to church sunday 
ya kwamba umekuja na watu kama tano. Amen. Na ninaamini ya kwamba there shall be a mass salvation in Jesus name. And now may the grace and now with the grace are good and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore Amen surely shall you follow me all the days of my life amen was there what water what rosa bye bye god bless you to another next time all the ladies in the house tafadhali shai ndio hiyo imekuja kunywa shai alafu uketi uanze kuoba god bless you na kama unangojea your wife Tafadhali tunaweza kukuhurumia tukupee kikombe ya chai. So all men ambao wanangojea your wives, please unaweza kuona one of the archers atakupea kikombe ya chai kusaidia kugojea mama. Maana lazima mama aspokee muujiza wake, apokee mirako yake. God bless you. Ikiwa ungetaka kuniona